Boop. 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 Hello, glorious bridge spilling away that leads to a deep, old, watery pool. How the hell are you today? My name is Josh. You know me. I was coming here a lot in the spring and doing pretty good. And uh, yeah, I was hoping you'd be a little bit higher. You're actually not higher at all. You're lower, if anything. We got a lot of rain last night, so I figured to bring the water levels up and the fish would be biting. But yeah, the fish still could be biting, but the water levels are definitely not up. But we're still going to give it a shot. Definitely things. But wow. What is going on, you dirty old stash erectus? I don't know, it's kind of funny, but somebody commented that. It was the uh, stash thing at the top of the comments that had the most likes. And um, yeah, you win. Nothing. And I forgot your name because I'm terrible with names, but keep commenting your stash things down below. And uh, yeah, let's do this thing. We uh, don't have any live bait. We don't have any crawlers. And uh, this spot, that's not really a big deal. I mean, the live bait would be nice because there are flatheads down there, but we're just going to be slinging some lures around. It's a very fishy day. There's a big front coming in it's nice and warm right now thunderstorms tonight super cold super windy tomorrow even colder and windier the next day and that is going to be the start of fall my friends i'm not sure what the actual start of fall day is but in my mind as far as the fishing goes i more pay attention to the weather and the start of fall is tomorrow so today leading up to that should be fire we're gonna give it a little bit here and if it's not working we're gonna move on because there's fish biting somewhere so come along with me let's not waste any more time let's see what we can catch Going for wipers, white bass, flatheads, saugers. Hopefully we can catch at least something. Stuff the things buffed out. Alrighty. Let's start with L baby. See if we can't get bit. And hopefully we don't mess it up. Hooked one wiper here before and I lost it. So if I hook one today, my goal is to land. And that's really bad. There was one. Hit it right at my feet. I'm gonna have to go a little slower at the end of the cast, I suppose, is what that tells us. Ooh. Ooh, he stole my tail. Little bastard. Where did I step on a cup? I thought it happened a little quicker, folks, but I've been wrong before. I have been wrong before. Try a little bit bigger jig head. Got some more baby whales in my bag, but I wanted to try a bigger jig head anyway. Even though this jig head is jacked up. Now that I look at it, we're going to risk it for the biscuit. And the plastic's jacked up. Baby whale has seen some things. Let's see if we can get him to see a couple more things. Is that the responsible decision? Probably not. A new jig head and a new swim bait is definitely more of a responsible decision. But we're going for it. We are going for it and stuff. Holy shit. Slammed. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Please hold up, jig head. I knew that might be a bad decision. <laughs> Man. Heavier jig head getting crushed. Shoot. We had some bites. I actually... How do I always lose them? <laughs> My jig head didn't even bend out. Second wiper I've ever hooked here. And I lost both of them. I lost both of them, my friends. Irresponsible decision on my part, probably this time, but like I said, the jig head didn't, I mean, the jig head didn't bend out again. Man, that hurts. That hurts, my friends. Discount code stash, check them out. Check out the blade baits. Good old six sensuals. The sensuals of the six sent me a nice care package. 
not of baby whales, but of the the blade baits. And I don't mention them enough. I really do like the blade baits from Six Sense and use them a lot. And yeah, the blade bait was the uh, number one bait on the Mississippi River for me. So they sent me an absolute shitload before we go to the Mississippi River again. But yeah, discount code stash, check out Six Sense Fishing. They've, they're have they literally the only longtime supporter of this degenerate channel, and they've been a big help at uh, helping me be able to keep go doing it, you know? And you guys. Them and you guys. And my family. Can't believe I missed that wiper. He was on the close side, too, which I don't think I've... I, well, I've only hooked two wipers here. The other one was on the other side. Man, that hurts. That hurts. All right, let's try the lipless crankbait. <laughs> let's try a lipless. See if they want some rattles. Got hammered. Drag was too loose. Got hammered on the lipless. Got hammered on the lipless. Right up in there. Are you kidding me? Yes. 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 He's barely hooked. But yes. One of my favorite fish. Yay. They're not like that great, but they're great. Please, God. I need you. I need you. I thought it was a flathead at first. It's not though, it's better than a flathead even. can't keep them pinned today. We just can't keep them pinned. And our other downfall is I can't keep my camera on either. Because I did actually catch a fish. What a maroon. And it was a white bass. So we came for Wipers, white bass, saugers, and flatheads. And we have hooked three of the four within 15 minutes. And we caught one of them, the white bass. Camera wasn't on because I'm a damn moron. If you're curious, I caught it on the lipless. That was a dang nice sauger, which was really the ultimate one I wanted to catch. And then we botched another wiper. <laughs> you know what they say, boys and girls, that's why it's called fitching and not catching. We're going fishing today, not catching. Like the dang underwater spillway for wipers is catching. This place is a little tougher. It can be good, like it's cool that I can come here and just throw lures and not even mess with night crawlers and stuff and get bit by game fish. It's just an awesome, awesome little place. No matter how awesome a place is though, you still have to execute. And I have not executed at all. Had opportunities, but poor execution. I don't know if that was the bottom or a fish. I think it was the bottom. There's a stick over there, but yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. We're gonna try to catch something here. We're gonna go up the way and maybe throw a top water. And yeah, I'm gonna give it... That was a stick. I'm gonna give it 10. If nothing else happens in 10, we're moving. Too fishy of a damn day to sit anywhere very long, as I already said. 
So see you here with a fish or there with a fish or something. At some point you'll see a fish in this video. At some point. I hope. And stuff. Hammered. No! No! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> That looked like another stalker. Damn it! We're getting bites. We're getting bites. Are we gonna catch a fish? Please catch this fish. I feel like I really hooked that one. But I thought that with the wipey too. Just getting ready to say, we're getting the bites that we need. It's just not working out. I don't really feel like I'm doing anything like that wrong either. But they're home and they're biting. And this white bass is a lot smaller than the first one I caught when the camera was off. But he's our first. <sighs> I looked down at you guys and I didn't see the red light and I thought it was off again. I'm just a jumbled mess today, you know? Pretty blue fins, he's fat. Not like that fat, but pretty fat. And he's absolutely throttled it. I think it is uh, angles at a spot like this are probably more important than the lure you're throwing. It's like we were down there and it seemed like we had our shots and it was over. We weren't gonna get any more shots. And then we come up here, boom, probably Sauger. And then boom, white bass. And then boom, I think I have a stick. Come here, stick bud. Two catches in a row. Come on, don't come off, don't come off. Yes, yes, yes! New species. I think it's a birch. Not really sure, I'm not a tree guy. Got something. I was not paying attention, I was looking upstream and I got something. And it's kind of feeling soggy. Switch to a little bit bigger swim bait jig head. Trying to get it just a little. Mm. Oh, yeah. Not quite as pretty, but oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here, soccer bud. Musical chairs time, my dude. Hell. Yes. I hope you guys saw the first one. Because the first one looked incredible. And while this guy's got kind of like a cute little pink tint to him he is not nearly as dark as the first one sauger saw guy every time I catch one of these I always ask whether you guys think it's a sauger or a saw guy and um, yeah I'm gonna ask again got a little bit of a white tip that's the thing that always throws me off but uh, yeah, he looks delicious, but we have other things to do today. The fish are biting. The fish are biting. I wonder if he's like a different color because he's not a he and it's a she. I tried to do like a graceful release and I ended up just like trapping it in this pool and probably causing it more issues than is needed. I didn't want to throw him like that, but I didn't want him just sitting in that pool either. If I can pick him up with my hand, then old stork, old crane could easily come kill his ass. And if anybody's killing his ass, 
It's me. And I'm not killing his ass. I'm looking up the way, because I think I'm gonna go up there and try. See if I can catch something too before I make a longer drive to the next destination of the day. It's one of your guys' favorite destinations. One of mine too. It's uh never a guarantee though, so figured coming here and give it a giving this a shot first was a uh, smart decision for my mental stability. And so far I don't regret it. I mean, like I've said, and as you guys have noticed, I've kind of been fishing like shit. I really feel like I've done a good job at getting bites. This is more, more good bites than I've ever got at this spot in my life. And I just, I don't know, just couldn't keep them pinned, you know? Two saugers, wiper. I guess we didn't really lose that much other stuff, but. Any hoodles, enough rambling. Another sauger, another white bass, another wiper, and then we're moving up. Or we're moving up without any of those things. But we're gonna try for a little bit longer. And stuff. Is that a fish? I got a fish. We came up the way and I got a fish on the lipless. The top water did not work at all. I didn't give it that many casts, but. Oh, Whitey. Oh, Whitey. Smallest one yet, but old Whitey. Very shallow. Camera was very low, but we got him. How many fish have we even landed? On camera three and in general four. I mean, not bad. Coming up pre-ice season, when it's still open water, I'll be remembering this day as the greatest fishing day I've ever had. It's gonna get tough after it gets real cold. Yeah, I'm having fun. Just a little bit of lure fishing at the creek. Said it before and I'll say it again. There's just, there's a lot of spots that I fish, that I am required to fish with night crawlers on the bottom to even catch anything. And this place is just the opposite. It's throw lures or bust. And trust me, I have tossed my fair share of night crawlers into both of these spots. And I'm not sure if I've ever really caught anything. Just like little micro bites here and there, but it just doesn't work. It's just weird. Too many predators around for the trash fish or something? I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna, oh my God. <gasps> that might have been a wiper. That thing absolutely piss pounded it. We're gonna lock the lipless that was another one. Let's see if we can get a better angle. I'm gonna lock this lipless in my hands because uh, I really like blade baits, but in this shallow water, blade baits just fall so much faster. Liplesses are easy to kind of keep up and keep out of the snags, even almost more than a square bill. Like this spot is almost too shallow for a square bill. I'll probably try a square bill before I leave though. But yeah, liplesses just don't fall as fast. And that's not always a good thing, but in this situation it is. Hammered. If I land this fish, it'll be a miracle, because that was awkward. And it might actually be a white bee that hit it so hard. If it's not a white bee, it's definitely a bigger white bass. I absolutely slammed it and I couldn't even catch up with it. I think it's too big to be a white bass. Oh no! Oh, I was so excited! 
That thing was moving so fast. So fast. Old channel rat shows up to the party involuntarily. Man. Ah. <laughs> oh. That. That was nuts. Not really nuts, but like. I'm pretty good at guessing what's going to be coming up. And that never would have been my guess. Ever. It was so fast. Just so fast. Alright, last cast. And I actually mean it. We've made a lot of casts out there in between the white bass and that catfish with nothing to show for it. We lost one of our liplesses. We only got two left on us. And we need them for the next spot. So I'm going to be disciplined. In the last video I said I'm not disciplined. But a fisherman saying that's their last cast. And it actually is their last cast. That's discipline. Alright, hopefully you liked it. I had fun. I know you've seen this place at least a few times this year. But I just... I have fun doing it. If I'm not having fun, then there's less of a chance that you guys will enjoy the videos. So I go to places that I think I'll have fun. Sometimes I go to places that I think I'm going to be miserable at. For the freak shows that like watching me struggle. But for the most part, I just wake up and I'm like, what sounds fun today? And today it was this and where we're going next. So hopefully you see something from where we're going next. Because you guys normally enjoy it all right thanks for watching really appreciate it thanks for making it to the end i'll see you later chef and things there's so much trash next time i need to bring a trash bag bye bye